guys welcome welcome back to artistic license my thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever i want and today we're gonna play sims 2 but first hi lunar hi katie welcome guys welcome so happy to have you here you were almost first katie you're only beat by mere seconds mere seconds from lunar so you're very close to being first very very close <laughs> um so i know that uh last time we missed doing the Pokemon because I had to, uh, I couldn't go, couldn't run over. I had to go in the stream. Um, and I told y'all it was because there was some Jeff news. So it actually was um, good news. And we are talking to him now. Like he's well enough where he can text us every day and we're speaking to him and all that sort of good stuff. Um, so things are looking good. Things are looking better. I'm really hoping he's going to be able to come home in a few weeks. And this is all going to be, you know, something that. We can tell a crazy story about in the future so we've finally been hearing directly from him and so that's been a huge huge relief huge like weight off my shoulders like life feels um so much better oh no worries lunar no worries uh just happy to have you here either way but since we missed uh pokemon last time we're actually going to start with that i think oh thank you so much katie i will i will tell him that you guys are sending him well wishes next time I talk to him all right, so let's go into let's go into some Pokemon. All right, y'all. Since we didn't do it last time, we're just gonna we're gonna hop right into that, and we're gonna do ten of them this time. So let me get my handy dandy V Coon open. Here we go, and we're gonna do some Gen Two Pokemon first. So we're gonna do our Gen Two Normal type. We want to switch it to. National Dex number and Surf. Okay, so our choices are the Senstret line, the Hoot Hoot line, Ailey Buff, Apom, Giraffe Rig, Dunspar, Satetti Ursa line, Porygon 2, Stantler, Smeargle, Miltank, or Blissey. Oh, the chat is so super in the way. It's so that it actually fades. Okay, now the messages won't stay up super long. All right. Hey, oh my gosh. Welcome, Kendra. Welcome, Kendra. Yes, uh, definitely. Definitely. I will let him know that you guys had said that. Okay. So the first one we're going to pick for our Gen 2 normal there, our Gen 2 normal is going to be, boom, Miltank. Because it's pink. It's so pink. Which doesn't want me watching on desktop. It feels so weird. What? Why is that weird, Kendra? So this is Miltank right here. It's a cow Pokemon. Look at its entry. Its milk is packed with nutrition, making it the ultimate beverage for the sick or weary. If it has just had a baby, the milk it produces contains much more nutrients than normal. Than usual. In order to milk a Miltank, one must have a knack for rhythmically pulling up and down on its udders. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's basically just a cow, but it's a Pokemon. So, you know, <laughs> that is what it is. Okay. So next we're going to look at the flying types for Gen 2. It feels so weird doing this at the start, but I know if I don't, then we could end up with the same situation this time. There's a mature joke in there somewhere. I think they made it. I think, I think, that, was, I think that was the intent, Kendra. <laughs> Um, so flying types, we've also got the Hoot Hoot line for flying types, Ladybug, Crobat, Togetic, the Natu line, the Hopip line, Yanma, Murkrow, Gligar, Jellybird, Mantine, and Skarmory. So my choice for this, for the flying type, is Togetic. I think it's really cute. I like the Togepi line for the most part, especially Togetic. So we're going with Togetic for this one. They say it will appear before kindred caring people and shower them with happiness. It grows dispirited if it's not with kind people. It can float in midair without moving its wings. So let's get to that one. Boom, right there, Gen 2 flying. All right, next we are going to look at the Gen 2 ground ones. So ground is right here. All right, and our choices are the Wooper line, Gligar again, Steelix, Swinub line, Fanthe line, Larvitar, and Puppetar, uh, but not Tyrantar. So um, my choice is probably pretty obvious since I love the cute ones. 
Uh, we're going with Fanfi for my favorite ground type. So there we go. <laughs> the little elephant. It swings its long snout around playfully, but because it's so strong, that can be dangerous. As a sign of affection, it bumps with its snout. However, it's so strong it may send you flying. <laughs> During the deserted morning hours, it comes ashore where it deftly uses its trunk to take a shower. So just like an elephant. So that's what I like for the ground type for Gen 2 there. All right, and next let's look at the grass types for Gen 2. So our choices are the Chikorita line, Blossom, the Hopip line, Sunkern line, and of course, well, we're not doing legendary, so not really celebrate. So I really, really love um, Blossom. I think it's so cute. A uh, little flower girl with a skirt. I think she's adorable. Definitely a favorite of mine for the grass types. Um, Blossom gather at times and appear to dance. They say that the dance is a ritual to summon the sun. Plentiful in the tropics. When it dances, its petals rub together to make a pleasant ringing sound. When these dance together, their petals rub against each other, making pretty, relaxing sound. So, go to our grass types, and boop, right there. So, that is all of our Gen 2 ones. We've got a bingo for Gen 2. So, we're going to do for the, the fifth one that we, would, that we were supposed to do last week. Sorry, guys. Is we are actually going to go and get... The Gen 1 Poison, because if you notice on here, we almost have a bingo for the Poison too. So let's go ahead and finish that column out. There's lots and lots of Poison Pokemon in Gen 1 for some crazy reason. I don't know why. Um, you've got the Bulbasaur line, the Weedle line, the Ekans line, um, all the Nidorans, uh, Zubat, Oddish, Venonat line, Bell Sprout line, uh, Tentacool line, Grimer line, Ghastly line, and Coughing line. So tons and tons of poison ones in Gen 1 for some reason. But my favorite is our snaky friend, Arbok. I like the Cobra. I think he's really cool. Uh, so let's read his entries. It's rumored that the ferocious warning markings on its belly differ from area to area. The frightening patterns on its belly have been studied. Six variations have been confirmed. Gengar. Yeah, I think Gengar is probably like the kind of the basic choice for this, um, but I really like Ghastly better, and so I put Ghastly in the ghost type here for Gen 1. Let's go and add him. Boom. Now we've got a bingo here, too. All right, so these, let's move to the Pokemon that we actually had planned to do for this stream. <laughs> All right, so what we, we had originally planned to do for this stream now, we're just going to do it early, we're going to do it at the beginning is some Gen 4 Pokemon. So we're going to look at the Gen 4 Water Pokemon first. So our choices here are the Piplup line, the um, Bibarel, Buizel line, Shellos line, Finneon line, Mantike, and um, the Wash Rotom, I guess, if you wanted to do that one. So my favorite of these is definitely the Finneon. I, it looks like an aquarium fish to me, and I used to have um, aquariums as growing up as a kid, and I had one for a little while uh, in my college age, but I just love them, and it reminds me of like the kind of fish you would put in an aquarium. After long exposure to sunlight, the patterns on its tail fin shine vividly when darkness arrives. <laughs> exactly, Katie. Whistleworthy for sure. The way its two tail fins flutter while it swims has earned the nickname Beautifly of the Sea. Oh. The line running down its side can store sunlight. It shines vividly at night. Let's add it. Boop. Right there for Gen 4. All right. The next one we're going to look at is our bug types for Gen 4. So let's add... There we go. It's all the way back at the beginning. Okay. The bug types for Gen 4, we've got Cricketot line, we've got the Burmy line, we've got the Mothim line, and the Combi line, and then Skorupi and Yan Mega. So some really good choices there. Um, but my favorite of these ones is definitely the Cricketune. This is one of those times that I really prefer the evolution to the, the like original, the Cricketot. You know, the first evolution, I like the second evolution better for this guy. So let's take a look at his entries. It crosses its knife-like arms in front of its chest when it cries. 
it can compose melodies ad lib. It signals its emotions with its melodies. Scientists are studying these melodic patterns. There is a village that hosts a contest based on the amazingly variable cries of this Pokemon. So um, I like that about it. I think it's cool. Definitely reminds me of crickets in real life, which I'm sure is what it's based on. And there we go. Goes in the bug type for Gen 4. Okay, next let's look at the ground types for Gen 4. Right here. So our choices for these ground types are Torterra, Sandy Wormadam, Gastrodon, the Gibble line, Hippopotas line, Rapierior, Gliscor, and Mamoswine. So out of these, I really like the um, Hippodon. This is another one where I prefer the evolu evolution to like the cute, the second evolution to like the cute first evolution. I just think it's really cool. I love like the sand coming out of him. Um, I, I, he's like kind of half buried in the sand. I just really love that design. I think it's really neat looking. All right. It blasts internally stored sand from ports on its body to create a towering twister for attack. Its huge mouth is almost seven feet across. It has enough power to completely crush a car. Surprisingly quick to anger, it holds its mouth agape as a display of strength. I guess that's kind of like hippos in real life. So there we go. Right there in the ground types. And the next one we're going to look at is the Gen 4 flying types. So let's go take a look at that. So our choices for Gen 4 flying type are the Starly line, Mothim, Combi line, Drifloom, Honchcrow, Chatot, Mantype, Togekiss, Yanmega, and Gliscor, or Fan Rotom, I guess. So my choices here, actually I have, I have two I really like here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put Mantyke in the Gen 4 slot. That's this guy right here, this cute little manta ray. Cute little manta ray. A friendly Pokemon that captures the subtle flows of seawater using its two antenna. Scientists discover that the distinctive pattern on its back differ by region. People organize tours to see this Pokemon frolic and skim the tops of the waves with Remoraids. So let's put... Go dope for the flying. There we go. There we go, the flying type. And this gen has my favorite flying type, which is Patot. I just love the design of this Pokemon. I think it's so cool. Like, look at like he's a musical note. He's a musical note bird. Like, I think that's the neatest thing. It can learn and speak human words. If they gather, they all learn the same saying. It keeps rhythm by flicking its tail feathers like a metronome. It in imitates human speech. Its tongue is just like a human's. As a result, it can cleverly mimic human speech. So that goes in my favorite flying slot right there. All right, y'all. So we got, um, we do out a bingo for Gen 2 and for the poison types, and we filled out some more Gen 4 this time. So I hope that was okay for you guys. We did things a little bit, we did things a little bit backwards today. But let's go next over to previous episode of Spare Room. So Spare Room is back after the two week hiatus. Thank you guys so, so much for being patient with me on that. Um, it, it, my life has just been a little bit crazy, but it's finally like looking better. Things are starting to get better. I just, I just hope things, you know, stay that way. So um, for this particular episode of Spare Room, it, looking at the comments, it seems like my viewers really prefer fluid time and dislike <laughs> uh, RP lock, which I really do too. I really do too. And you know, the thing is, is like RP lock used to really not be popular. Like people really didn't do it. And for some reason on Discord roleplay, it's just like exploded in prop popularity. And, um, and this is like, this is the tea for this. Like for me, this is my hot take, right? I feel like RP lock was developed to solve a problem that like just only exists for very specific groups of role players. Like the problems that RP lock solves, I feel like only really exist for like, I don't know, teenagers and like, um, people, I guess that are super ridiculously competitive with their role play or things like that. Like, I just don't feel like I experienced problems that necessitate RP lock in like any role play I have ever been in, even when I was younger. You know what I mean? So like, 
I don't know. It does not jive with me. I know a lot of people use it successfully and it's very, very popular for a reason. You know, it, obviously people like it, but, um, but like, I can't, I can't jam with it. That's not a surprise. Yeah. Kendra, I, I guess, um, I was a little bit surprised considering how popular RP lock is on discord, but I guess the type of person that watches my videos, um, would not be interested in something so confining <laughs> as RP lock. You know what I mean? So I guess in that way, it's not a surprise. I guess I just expected because like Discord RP is so popular and it's it's so popular to do RP lock on Discord RP that, you know, I would get more comments that were like, you know, in defense of RP lock, but like, I got none. I got, I got none. There weren't any. <laughs> not that I get a huge amount of comments, but still like to get none in defense of RP lock, it surprised me a little bit. It surprised me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> So that was that episode. If you have not watched it, um, please definitely go give it a watch uh, because, you know, after the two week hiatus coming back, I just want to make sure that video gets lots and lots of love. You were very generous with the rundown of RP lock though. Well, I was because I know people do it for a reason. And like, I've talked to some people that do it and I know like it's, it, they're not trying to stifle creativity. They're really trying to solve what they see as a problem. The difference is I just don't see these things as problems, you know, um, but obviously a lot of role players do so. That is what it is. That is what it is. <laughs> all right. So with that, with that all, with that all done, that all done, y'all, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Do you know how much I love The Sims? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if y'all necessarily know how much I love The Sims. Let's see if the auto capture will work when I load this game. it's loading mm. I do have lots of mods and stuff so it takes a while okay it's loading there we go see if the auto captures it or if I have to tell it to look at this too to the quieter music. Okay, let's see if I can get it to capture. It is unhappy for... Okay. Let's do this instead. There we go. Do display capture instead. That's what's going to make it happen. Perfect. Okay. Oof. Get down. There we go. Okay. Now it's in the right spot. Mochi, hey, you're just in time. You're just in time for Sims 2. Okay. So here's how, here's basically we're going to go through how I play. So I made a copy of my Pleasant View specifically for the stream and I set it all up. You know, I went ahead and added the sub neighborhoods and set it up and in, in how I do. Um, and, uh, and we are going to play the rotational style Pleasant View like I love to do. <laughs> this music is just like so nostalgic. I've been playing this game for so long, y'all. And I try to play Sims 3, you know, I try to play Sims 4, but it just doesn't, it doesn't do it for me like Sims 2. You didn't get your notification, Mochi. That's so wrong. That's why I have those notifications set up in the Discord because that is reliable and I can control it, but I can't control Twitch. So I even added like a bunch of custom lots to my Sims 2 Pleasant View. Like I have the roller rink in here. Well, these aren't custom, like they come with it, but like I went ahead and add them, right? I have um, a pet store that I've added, Doc Allen's Hangout, um, the H&M store I added, 3-in-1 bookstore. Like, So this already has some changes. Oh yeah, and I have a, the career 
the career services from um, from Pleasant Sims, which she's lovely. Finally, have some free time. Oh, Mochi, that's so awesome. Oh, speaking of which, Mochi, May 1st, where are we playing Among Us? Where are we playing Among Us on May 1st? So um, I know you and uh, and your friend love that, so don't miss that one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so if y'all remember, back in the day, and in this era of gameplay, there were things called Prima Guides, and uh, Prima was a company that released game guides, and they had a recommended playing order for Pleasant View. So that's what we're going to walk through today, so you guys can see the beginning of the story that, you know, Max has actually set up and intended with this game. So the first house we're going to play is the Lothario house. Come on. Go, game. Okay, and this is with Don Lothario. Who is Don Lothario? Is his engagement to Cassandra Goth genuine? And what about the rumor that her mother, Bella, was last seen scaling the deck of his condo? Scandalous. Okay, let's enter his lot. And we're just going to basically play through these scripted events of each one as much as we can get through until the end of stream time. Yeah, Katie, okay, we'll see if we can go to the roller rink. Um, if we get to it, we might can. We have a spot where we might can do that. Okay, so I already have the wants locked for woohooing with Dina and woohooing with Nina. And, um, and that is because that's what he's going to do very first. So this is basically his scripted event. So the first thing that you want to do for Don to get all of the stuff that he's intended to do in the story and see all of his events is we're going to call up we're going to call up nina here and you can tell that the game wants you to do this because it has this here okay so let's call her and we are going to invite her over it was inevitable. because don is no your friend cannot come this is a booty call girl Okay, and then clean up. Don't be sad, Don. He's a very messy sim, so he gets sad when you tell him to clean up. But if you tell him to do that, you get this pop-up. This place, place is a mess. Use the phone to hire a maid. So we're going to do that. We are going to call a service. And we're going to hire a maid. So then... There we go. Ah, and then you get this pop-up right here when Nina comes over that says, Don wants to win Nina over. And it looks like she's slowly succumbing to his wily charms. Maybe now is the time to suggest a romantic soak in the hot tub. So there's Nina right there. She's at our front door. I do get sad when I'm told to clean. <laughs> yeah, big mood, right? All right. Um, I actually don't mind most cleaning tasks. Uh, <laughs> I'm a pretty, pretty neat person in that regard. All right, so we're going to greet her. And you can see they already clearly got something going on because that is how they just greet each other. And then we are going to go up to Dawn's hot tub up here. We're going to get in the hot tub. And then once he gets in, he is going to ask to join. So she's going to come. She's going to come join him in the hot tub. <clears throat> and then the maid's here. The reason why they have you invite the maid over is because Don can is uh, also sleeping with uh, Kaylin, the maid. <laughs> so he can get caught when he's woohooing Nina up here. So let's see what happens. Sometimes in my game he gets caught, sometimes he doesn't. We're going to have them cuddle first. And I always have them make out too. I want to make sure that he's made out with her because his lifetime want is to woohoo with 20 different sims and he'll get wants for like making out with multiple sims and woohooing mul with multiple sims because he's a romance sim. So I always have him make out and then woohoo so he can make sure that he's adding to those numbers. Now that I'm done with work, would you like to hang out? No, I am busy girl. I will call you later. And then, oh, come here. And then we woohoo. Bye, Kaylin. I'll call you later. Oh, 
Uh oh. I think she caught him because I heard the boing sound. <laughs> All right. I think I think he got caught. Where's Kaylin? Leave or is she running back up? Oh no, she left. What does it say on the relationship? Oh no, she didn't catch him. I don't know why we got that boiling sound like he got caught. He didn't. He's not mad anyway. All right, so then say goodbye. Get out. I'm done with you, girl. This is what, what I wanted. All right, I'm going to lock in the woohoo in bed because we are going to call up her sister next. Say hi to her. <laughs> he went boiling. Oh yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, so we got um, we got Nina. Now it's time for Dina's turn, and we're gonna invite her over. She'll sometimes ask to bring a friend too, but. I never let her, because <laughs> this is a booty call. It's not like that. All right, while she's on her way, why don't you use the toilet, because you got to potty, boy. I'm not really too concerned about his needs, though. He'll be aight. And there she is. Go greet her. Did y'all know he didn't flush? That's another thing messy sims will do. Sometimes they just, like, won't flush a toilet. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know any in real life that anyone's that messy, but I guess some people must be. But clearly he likes her, too. Not as much as Nina. Nina's, like, his favorite, but he's really into Dina, too. So we're gonna have him relax in bed. What are they doing? Oh, dirty chokes. <laughs> oh. Go on, Dawn. There we go. Okay. Asked to join. Get in bed with me, girl. They tell me it's because they're conserving water when they don't flush. What? I mean, they have like low flow toilets. I don't understand. I don't, and I don't think like toilet flushing is why we waste water. I don't, I don't think that that's a big contributor. Sorry. <laughs> it's old people. Oh. I don't know, maybe that makes sense. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with her. Um, let's get, let's cuddle. You're right. Yeah, that feels right. Oh, now they're in love. They were just a crush before, but now they're, now they're fully in love. So we're going to have them make out. And then we're going to have them woohoo as well. And he's still in his swim he's still in his like swim speedo from the hot tub I love the cutscene. I love the cutscene, the sound effects. Like, Sim 2, Sims 2 just gets me. The other next Sims games just aren't like this. Okay, so they'll fall asleep, but I like to wake them up and kick her out. Get out, girl. And you can see now he wants to woohoo with five different Sims, meet someone new, public woohoo, and woohoo in the hot tub. Okay, wake up. Hello, what are you doing? No, don't sleep. Say goodbye to your girlfriend. It's time for her to get out. Okay, say goodbye to her. Put that. 
See you later, girl. Nice time. Okay, then he needs to eat some food. So he's gonna have a TV dinner. What? Why is she picking up my paper? Did you just steal my paper? I guess she did catch him, but she's not mad or anything. Their relationship's fine. I guess she doesn't feel that attached to him. Alright, um, Katie, since you were interested in the roller rink, I want to go check something. Yes, we're going to save that. I want to go see the if the roller rink has certain things in it. <laughs> uh, so maybe we can use it for the next uh, little bit that I like to do before I move on from Dawn. So what I just did there, that's all of like Dawn's scripted events that you that you have to do really for all of his scenes like that's all that's programmed for him but um but i like to do the thing i like to try to get donna hat trick i like to try to get donna hat trick with kaylin before we move on from his house i want to see if the roller rink has some something that we can do that with <clears throat> i usually take him to um the hangout because I have Pleasant Sims version of that, which she added some hot tubs to. But I want to see if this has anything. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. But that's okay. We can add something. There is... I think the phone booth will accomplish what we want, but i got to remember where it is. And under miscellaneous... I don't remember where the phone booth is. Is this it? Oh, photo booth. The photo booth, I think, will do it. Pretty sure they can woohoo the photo booth. And then, if that doesn't work out, I will put a hot tub in here just for good measure. I'll just pop it down in the parking lot. It's okay. No one cares. It's fine. Fine. We just have a hot tub in the parking lot. No big. <laughs> I am not um, crazy about staying realistic when I play Sims 2. I will do some things because of realism, but uh, it's okay if it's a little bit silly. It's a life, it's a life sim. It's not actual real life. <laughs> Which that probably doesn't surprise y'all as a take coming from me. Okay. All right, Don. Let's finish eating your food. It's okay if things get silly. Exactly. Sims 2 is a silly game. And that's part of what I like about it. It's not too serious. Okay, we're going to fast forward him eating his food. Thanks for that, Don. Good. Good job. Okay, clean that up. Yes, you have to clean up your plate. Okay. Now he's going to... I like him to call Kaylin and ask her on a date. I know he doesn't have, like, wants for that or anything. But... I just like him to get a hat trick because of what we're going to do after we leave his house and what we're going to do next. Is this it? Yeah, this is Kaylin. Okay. No! No! Oh my gosh, it's because she caught him. It's because she caught him. No, don't turn on your stupid music. Oop, I meant to X out the music. might not work out this time. Will you come over at least, girl? Ah! She really is mad at him, but it doesn't say that she is. Okay, well, let's just have them talk and see if we can repair that. If she could come over here, he could smooth talk, and then things would be better. Oh, she's not even... She's not even listed anymore. Oh my gosh. He really doesn't want to talk to him. <gasps> no. 
This is so sad. Poor Don. I always, I usually can get him a hat trick, but I guess that's not what's going to happen. Yeah, she's like totally not interested in talking to him at all. Uh, womp womp. Okay, well here's what he can do instead. He can call, um, Bella. <laughs> and just talk, because I know the relationship's not good enough for any of that. So, I'll show y'all his memories. So, this is Don's story, basically. In his memories here. So, he had got all of his toddler skills, he grew up well, he learned to study from his father, um, and he met then Nina and Dina when he was a kid, so he's known them since he was a child. And uh, then his parents got old, he made best friends with Nina, had his very first kiss with Nina, um, and then he made best friends with Dina, and uh, then grew up again. At that point, his parents passed away. Then he kissed Dina for the first time. Uh, then he has this memory of getting electrocuted. We can pause it. He doesn't need to progress anymore. Then he has this memory of getting electrocuted, which um, is really interesting. And then he f actually fell in love with Nina, got a job. So his job is uh, he's an intern. He's part of the medical profession. Then he met Bella, um, which we are going to we're going to see about Bella in just a little bit. And he tried to make out with Bella, but he was rejected. And then Bella got abducted by aliens. And so she's gone from the neighborhood. Then he met Kaylin, his maid and kissed Kaylin, um, made best friends with Kaylin, and then he was had lots of loves at once, made out with Kaylin, had very first woohoo with Kaylin, so he has woohooed with her in the past. Um, and then we have got a promotion, met Cassandra, and then he kissed Cassandra. Uh, Kaylin started rejecting him at that point, and she wasn't super into him anymore. But his job was still going well, and he was still woohooing with Kaylin sometimes. Um, then he met Mortimer and Alexander, which are related to Cassandra. We'll meet them in a second. He got engaged to Cassandra. Now, because he's a romance sim, this is a negative memory for him. He's not happy about that. Uh, he, while he was engaged with Cassandra, he still had an affair with Kaylin. He met Darren. He had an affair with Nina. Um, he got che he got caught cheating by Kaylin. I guess that's what just happened <laughs> and lost her as a best friend. So that's why she's mad at him right now. Um, then you can see this is what we did. Woohoo with Nina, had an affair with Dina, fell in love with Dina, made out with Dina and woohooed with her. So that's where he is right now. But since Kaylin's not going to talk to us, that's okay. <laughs> okay. We won't get him the hat trick. He's woohooed with her in the past, so it's not a big deal. We will go ahead and then save. And that is all of... Dawn's events. We are going to move next then to the goth house. Alright, so this over here, this mansion, where is it at? Yeah, this mansion right here is the goth house. So Cassandra is ready to start a family of her own, but she, can she tame the town Casanova? And can Mortimer bounce back after the disappearance of his wife, Bella? So Bella was Mortimer's wife. Remember, she got abducted by aliens. We find that out in Dawn's memories. Um, and Cassandra and Alexander are their children. But Cassandra is engaged to Dawn, who is the only one that saw Bella get abducted. All right, let's go play them and do their scripted events. And pigtail. I need to fix those. Need to get her out of that hairstyle. I hate that as an adult she has those pigtails. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's pause. And you can see Cassandra has the want to kiss Dawn and get married to Dawn. And because we let Dawn sow his wild oats, just a moment ago with getting it out of his system with Nina and Dina, then hopefully this will work out. We'll see. So we're going to have her um, kiss him. She's going to make out with him. And then she is going to propose. Oh no, let's use the wedding arch. Let's do it with the wedding arch. And she's going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 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 
Oh, for the love of God, Blanche, I will. All right, go, Cassandra. You can do it. All right, are y'all gonna come attend the wedding? Yeah, stop playing, come attend the wedding. This is your sister, your daughter. It's important. Ibsen. And what I found is if you play the Goths before you play Lothario, most of the time he will reject her at the altar. But if you play Lothario first and then the Goths, then they will get married. So it just depends on how you want to do it. I like to have Cassandra and Don together personally. A lot of people don't like that because Don is a cheater and Cassandra's too good for him, but I like the drama of it. So the last name, this is a mod that I have. Oh, I didn't do it quick enough. Hopefully I did the last names right. Oh no, they're all goths. Oh well, I'll have to fix that later. That's fine, it's not a big deal. I was going to choose them to have Don's last name, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so they're married now, and since they just got married, um, <laughs> that's right. So since they just got married, normally I don't have my Sims woohoo unless they have the wants for woohooing or a baby or things like that. Now Cassandra does have the have a baby want, so I'd probably do this anyway, but I like to have them woohoo on their wedding night. And I usually ignore <laughs> Mortimer and Alexander at this point. Now he does have gain a logic skill point as a want, so we can have him do that. No, Cassandra's not available to talk. She's about to go try to have a baby. So you can do that, Alexander. Mortimer, I don't care what you do. All right, they're going to go relax in bed. Oh, I need to replace that with modular stairs. Oh my gosh. The stairs in this game are so annoying in the goth house. Don't play the piano, Don. Go relax with your new wife. Go away, Mr. Humble. We don't care. We're rich. We don't need your free computer. God. All right. So I usually have it initiate from Cassandra for the try for baby because she's the one that wants it. That's usually how I play that. Let's hope for baby chimes, that they'll have one. And since she initiated, he puts his head on her shoulder, and I love that. <laughs> Okay, no baby sound, so I guess they didn't have one. All right. Good for you. Good for you, Mortimer. All right, well, hopefully we can get her to have a baby later. But those are all, those are the scripted events for the goth house. It's just them getting married. There's nothing really else. Um, I typically will have Alexander just do something that fulfills a want he has. Oh, he doesn't have that want anymore. So we're good with that. He can do whatever he wants. What does he want to do? Oh, that's fine. Okay, so those are the goth scripted events. Before we leave here, I do want to fix those stairs because when I eventually come back to this, it's going to drive me absolutely bonkers um, to not have modular stairs. So they get stuck. Let's fix this. Not the modular ones. And in Sims 2, because the stairs, the regular stairs are like one object, but modular stairs are like each stair is an object, so it's like four objects. They can have multiple people on the stairs at once. So that's why I'm gonna switch them all to modular stairs. So which ones do I wanna use? I think, yeah, the steadfast stairs. That is definitely what I want to use. 
second reserve space above. Why? What is wrong? Do I need to delete this stair too? Oh no. I bet I need to turn objects on. I bet that'll fix it. Oh my gosh, get on the right tile. There we go. Yeah, move objects fixed it. Okay, let's delete all of these stairs and replace them with the modular stairs. They don't scream every time they try to go up and down stairs. I will, I will never, like when I'm building my own houses and things, I will never build a multi-story house with the regular stairs. Even if some of them look really cool, I will always use modular stairs because of that issue. Okay. So those are the scripted events for the goth household. Unfortunately, Cassandra did not get pregnant, um, but that's okay. We'll try again when we come back to them. All right. So we are going to return to the neighborhood. And the next house that we're going to go play is the Calientes. So those Calientes that, uh, that we saw just a moment ago with, uh, with Don, we're going to go play their house next. And they have a really fun scripted event. This is one of the things I really love about Sims 2 is that they kind of create these things and they, and they prompt you with these things so that like you understand how to play the game and that just that type of thing that scripting and those events just don't exist in the later sims was it just coincidence that the caliente sisters arrived on the eve of bella's disappearance oh and is their interest in mortimer physical or fiscal the caliente sisters have a really really interesting lineage um if you look back at their family tree uh, i'll open it up when we first start the lot they have alien in their in their blood they have an alien in their ancestry so i'll show you all what i mean by that we go into where is it i remember where i find their family tree oh here we go family tree so if you go back let's see oh no it doesn't show it to me in here they definitely do it is through Oh, here we go. Here he is. Okay, so it's through Flamenco, their father, and you can see Pollination Technician 7 and Nestor Caliente. That's the that's the relationship that their father was born from. So this is Pollination Technician number 7, Flamenco, and then Nina and Dina. So they have an alien grandfather. So that's really interesting for them. Okay, so when you start this lot, you will see... Dini Caliente digging for gold, and she wants to lay claim on Mortarer. Don't have to make, don't wait for him to make the big move. Be aggressive. All right, let's go greet him. Let's go say hi to Mortimer. Oh, you can do whatever you want. That's fine. Oh, yeah. And I just keep her in her bathing suit and everything for this whole time. Um, so let's do propose engagement. Bella's gone, Mortimer. I had nothing to do with it. But I really like you. Oh, my little, oh, so lion. Oh, my lion. That's interesting. Kaylin passing by right then. <laughs> Are you going to steal her newspaper too? Yeah, if, if they're mad at, if Sims are mad at you, they'll steal your newspaper. I guess because Dawn was caught cheating with the twins or with the sisters. <laughs> Big box for a small ring. Well, yeah, you got to make it look impressive. Okay, so I go ahead and have them as soon as they get engaged. No, don't go yell at her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone, Dina. Okay, so I propose marriage, and what this is going to do is allow um, any of the goths that you want to have move in, they can. 
Um, I typically don't have any move in with Dina and Nina. A lot of people, because Mortimer is Alexander's dad, they'll have Alexander move in. I don't like to do that. I like him to stay behind with Cassandra and Don um, because I like to give Cassandra the full family tree where she might have twins. So she might need some help. <laughs> um, so I don't do any of this. I just let just Mortimer move into the condo. Oh, and she's happy because she married a rich sim. All right, we're going to do sim and icon. That's right. All right, so two's company, but three's a crowd. So it's time for Nina to get moving. Use the newspaper to move a sim out. Oh, no, but Kaylin stole their newspaper. <gasps> oh, no. That's okay. They have plenty of money. We can get them a, um, we can get them a computer. Get them a little desk. This is good for now. A computer to put. It's a chair to sit in. Like a computer chair. Oh no, that's not really a computer. This is. This is fine for now. We can redecorate and figure out how we want this all to look later. Oops. Did not mean to buy two. There we go. Computer's one of the best buys. It's very true. Okay, so I think she can, yeah, she can find her own place from the computer. So she is going to find her own place. Then I'll just let Mortimer and Mortimer and Dina do their thing. Oh. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't see the game for a second. <laughs> She's just gonna serenade him. I love the autonomous interactions that a lot of the Sims will do. Okay, so she's not gonna take anyone with her. She is just going to move out all on her own. Goodbye, sis. See you later. Have fun in your new life. I married Rich. All right. Oh, and Mr. Humble's here with the free computer. Okay. We can get rid of this stuff. I didn't really want to get it anyway. Okay. Now you should be able to move and say goodbye to her. No, she already left. Well, they'll typically they'll go out and greet her, but I guess they got stuck on the computer and desk and stuff. <laughs> um, okay. I love the Simlish too. So another thing you really need to do in playing this one, because we've got one more event that we're going to do with them we move off the the lot but we cannot forget to buy a burglar alarm because you can see here that um that dina has a fear of having something stolen so that's kind of your little hint there let's see what they want to do let's see that what they want to do today he wants to buy a telescope costing at least 200 let's buy them some stuff let's buy them some stuff based on what they want Because she's a fortune sim, she's going to want to buy a lot of things. So I like to do that for them. So he wants to get that nice telescope. What does she want to get? She wants to get a better TV. Okay, we can do that. Let's get rid of this TV. Let's get an actual nice one. How much does it need to cost for her want? 3,000, okay. We can get this one. Also, I like to take out of Mortimer's um, career rewards. He should have the career rewards for the science track. Yeah, I like to get that. Have that in the house as well, because he earned that. What are they doing? Oh, they're going to go look at the tele. Okay, that's fine. Now she wants some electronic entertainment. 
over 1,500. Okay. We can do that too. That's going to be one of these pinball machines. So we're going to put that here for right now. You take such good care of your sims, I never listen to mine. I only do what they what they want to do, but like, it's not necessarily good care because sometimes they don't want the best things, right? Like, I won't do their skills unless they want to. Like, he wants to reach creativity level three. Um, I'll probably lock that in for him so that he can do that. He wants to take some vacations. Oh, and he wants to get a job. You're so old, Mortimer. Do you really want to work again? Probably does because of his, you know, because he's a um, knowledge sim. So that's probably why he wants to work again. She wants a microwave. I really hate the design of this kitchen. I need to redo this whole area. Eventually, I when I play this rotationally, I will eventually redo this whole this whole part of the condo here, their whole kitchen area. Okay, microwave, wasn't it? So let's get in here. Get them a decent microwave. A nano. Let's get this one because it matches the weird pink and yellow kitchen they have now. All right. Now she wants a job, but she's not going to get that. Um, professional party guest is her lifetime want, so that's what I'm going to do for her. He wants creativity. Do they have anything that can get him creativity? I don't think so. Oh, but they do not need this. Mortimer didn't come with them and Nina moved out. Why don't we make this into like a game room? Then he can get get him a piano here too because he loved that. He loved that at his place. That's gonna be yeah. Okay, Mortimer, I hear you. You want to have a piano. You can't live without it. There you go. You can practice it now. So if you don't listen to your Sims, Katie, what do you do with them? Like, how do you how do you play your Sims? What does she want to do? She wants to go on a vacation. We're not going to do that right now, but I hear you. I hear you, girl. We can take y'all on a vacation at some point. And she can make a drink. Go have a drink. You just got married, so that's good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I want that deck. Oh yeah, I love the deck. The upstairs of their condo is so cool. Murder! <laughs> well, I mean, I do that too. Eventually they do die. I don't really like stop it from happening. Alright, why don't you go answer the phone, girl? Will she get to it fast enough? Probably not. You made your drinks. Go answer the phone. See who that is. Oh, she wanted to make drinks multiple. Oops, I didn't do that right. A minute for the building. Oh, no. I, I mean, the building's fun, but I really like the gameplay. Like, really. And that's why I keep coming back to Sims 2, because it just has the best gameplay. Oh, it's Dawn. <gasps> He's telling her he got married. So Dini, Dina has to tell him she got married, too. <gasps> too funny. No. It's my wedding night. I'm not doing that. Alright. Why don't you use the, use the bathroom after you get that skill point? How are her needs doing? They're okay. Not too bad there. Okay. Did that. He wants to see a ghost. Oh, interesting. He saved from death. Oh, Mortimer. I don't really do that. <laughs> Let's have them, since it's their wedding night, go relax. I have a hard time keeping friends. I had this one with dating and I had to keep 10 relationships going. It was so hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I struggle with that, too. But I just follow what their wants say for the most part. And sometimes they, they reach, like, these things right here. 
um, you know, their lifetime wants. And, but a lot of times they don't because they just don't roll the right things and, or they just run out of time or whatever, you know. All right, so it's our wedding night. So we're going to make out and woohoo. <laughs> Yeah, Katie, I typically don't keep up with the le ones that are, like, maintain all the relationships at once. But for the romance sims, I will have them try to, like, woohoo and, um, and make out with as many sims as possible. Alright, I will let them sleep. We're gonna let them sleep. All right, and he's hungry already. Why don't you go make some food then? He's a pretty good cook, so he's gonna make he's gonna come make salmon. He's still asleep. Oh, but she needs to. She has other needs that are gonna pop up besides food. <clears throat> I just hate the I hate the layout of this kitchen. It doesn't utilize the space very well, and there's just not enough counters for like all of the things um you know always ends up wanting. And I love the way that they do the food in in The Sims too. Like they just do all the animations and it comes out and it looks beautiful. Like, look at that. I want to eat that. I want to eat that salmon. It looks delicious. Like, it's like salmon and like, I think that's zucchini and some rice with it. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh no. Armin, why? And that's why you need the burglar alarm. Okay, wake up. Stop eating. Get him, Demi. I love the fighting cloud in Sims 2 too. Like they all they keep popping up. <laughs> and the cop won, so he's arrested. And that's how it works in real life. You fight the criminal, and then if the cop wins, they get arrested. <laughs> Yeah, honey, I made some food. He wants to get another. Why is it still going off? Oh my gosh. Go away. What is he trying to do? Oh, tell her a dirty joke. Oh, you dirty old man, Mortimer. Ah, oh, thank you. $500. That's awesome. Okay, will the will the alarm shut off now? Please? Please? Oh my gosh. There we go, finally. Sometimes it shuts off after they catch the burglar, and sometimes it doesn't shut off until, like, 
after the um until after the cop actually leaves and now they're really sad because they got they got burgled <laughs> dirty old man is me <laughs> i believe you kendra <laughs> all right well they're awake now <laughs> Uh, let's see what jobs are available, because I want to get her that in the slacker career. So, Mortimer, why don't you come out here and open this, and we'll set up the computer. Scoot this over. Let's get them a nice desk. Not that janky one that I bought, just whatever. I feel like... Calientes would probably have had this kind of desk. Let's get them a chair that matches. Colors on this don't really go with what they have. And eventually I think I'll redesign all of this, but for now, just go with something like this. Yes, um, that's a that's custom, that landscape there that I have going on. I don't know if it's Californian, but I know it's custom. You can see like if I scoot the wrong way, it kind of goes away. <laughs> but uh but yeah, that is that is custom content that I have. It's, um, I'll show you it. Oh no, I think I have it at the neighborhood level. Yeah, I think I have it at the neighborhood level, actually, now that I think. But, um. I have this right here, this item, which is the Great Sky of Totalitarianism, <laughs> which is what makes um, everything kind of tie into the custom ones that I have on the neighborhood. So if you look that up, you can find the mod, I think, that I have. Also, I made a, a document that explains some of my mods and things like that. If you do exclamation Sims 2, I think, then you will find the link to that document. Okay, good job, Mortimer. Why don't you go take a bath and use toilet? And... Whoa! Oh my gosh, what a big raid! Thank you so much, Rival! Holy crap, welcome everybody! We're playing Sims 2 today! What's up? <laughs> We're doing a Pleasant View, rotational. We're on um, the Caliente's house right now. Hey guys! Hercules, Rival, Cool Beans, um, the King Jacob, Ami Realize. Um, let's see who else is here. Oh, thank you so much for following Ami. Adventure. No, we don't want that. Haven't played Scene Sims again in a while. Oh my gosh, well, you're in for a treat, Hercules. I love The Sims too. Thank you so much, Rival. You are a champ. What a big raid. What were you playing? Kendra, can you do exclamation... S-O, and then your new rival, so it does a shout-out for him. No, this isn't what I want. None of those jobs are what I want. That's okay. We can fix that later. Sims 2 was my last. Well, it was the best one, so you went out on a high note. Thank you, Kendra. Um, we played a bit of Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, and Stream Raiders PvP. Oh my gosh, I've been really enjoying your Animal Crossing streams, rival. Um... <laughs> like a lot a lot a lot do you like the new sims games or no no i do not like the new sims games not into it i have to say um i've given them all a try like i tried getting into um sims 3 and sims 4 and i just i just couldn't they're just to me they're just not good sorry like i enjoy the gameplay and the gameplay is the best in the sims 2 you know I know like the build and build and buy modes in Sims 4 are amazing, but I just don't care about that stuff. So I tried three, didn't touch four. Yeah, 
They're not good. They're just not good in my opinion. It is what it is. They need a second bathroom for real already. Oh, I'm just going to make them a little bathroom here. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> I think they tried too hard, added too much, and focused on the wrong aspect. Yeah, I think they focused on superly on the wrong aspect. They did not pay any attention to the people that actually like to, you know, play the game. Um, and they spent, like, too much, too much time on just, like, gimmicks and things. And you can so tell that it was originally supposed to be an online game, and then it didn't work out being an online game. And so, yeah, that's where I think they really, they really flubbed up. Like, there's just no need. There's no need for it to be an online game. And uh, when that didn't work out, I feel like they just kind of gave up and just steamrolled Sims 4 into what we know now, which is just like half-assed version of everything. Do they need a light in that room? It is d dark in there. Let's get them a ceiling light. <laughs> Oh, Hercules! Thank you so much for the follow! I really appreciate it. Happy to have you here. <laughs> Good stream labs. Good job. That's what you, that's what it's there for. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> it's okay, dude. Hey, better late than never. It is totally fine. I think this is only maybe the second time you've been in one of my streams anyway. <laughs> it happens. It happens from being in the den, I swear. There's people that I've chatted with the den so many times, and then, like, I'll go to their stream and I'll be like, I swear I've watched their stream before, and yet I'm not following them. It makes no sense. Okay, so at this point we have done all the scripted events for them. Um... Oh my gosh! Cool beans! Thank you so much! Oh my gosh, Venom, Aff, Gamer Goblin, Buck, and Cybercat. Enjoy your subs. Enjoy your subs, courtesy of Cool Beans. Wow, thank you so much. MVP, MVP, okay. Let's, um, let's go ahead and save and go back to the neighborhood. Oh, you're the best. Super Pog. I love that. You hear the do 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 so many times. <laughs> Whoa, Urq too! Oh my gosh, thank you so much, um, Ami, Lar, and oh, bye. <laughs> hey, bye. Um, didn't mean to call you out for the lurk there, but uh, to be fair, Urq called you out, not me. <laughs> oh, amazing, amazing! Thank you so so much. Oh, you're the best. Hey, Lar. I guess I kind of called out your lurk, too. Sorry. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the biddies. Oh, my gosh. You guys are, like, filling my heart. Y'all are filling my heart. I love you. All right, so Nina is in the bin here uh, because, you know, she moved out. So I like to move her into this little condo right here, this littlest condo, and she's going to live her single life. So we're just going to play just a little, little bit of her to get her started. Oh my gosh, more biddies! <gasps> Urk, you're the best! Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> uh, Katie, what a good use of your command. Perfect. <laughs> oh, y'all are awesome. Thank you so, so much. So this place is unfurnished. Um, we're gonna have to furnish it, but, uh, but I just wanted to get Nina moved in and get her started. And, uh, oh good, she has the want to go to a community lot. Wonderful. Because what I just want to do with her real quick, just to get her going. Oh, Bree! Bree, welcome! Welcome, welcome! Okay, so what I want to do to get her going is I want to get her her preferred job. Oh my gosh, more of them! Urk, you are too much! Um, I hope you enjoy your subs, um, Amber Bear and Xtremer. Hope you guys enjoy those. Um, all right, let's get her a phone. Let's get her a phone so she can call a taxi. She's going to go to a community lot because I, I like to give her the lifetime want to become a celebrity chef. Um, so she is going to, she's going to go for that. But she needs to go get that job. So she's going to, oh, actually, let's just have her, let's have her walked a lot. I don't want to do a taxi. 
So then she's going to go to this um, career services. This is a custom lot that Pleasant Sims has made, who is a really awesome uh, YouTuber and Twitch streamer that does a lot of Sims stuff. I love her content. We're going to have her go there. What's cool about this particular lot is it has this piece of custom content on it, which is a career board, so they can get any job. So you can kind of sort of cheat. So uh, there's certain sims that I'll do this for that I have specific jobs that I want them to get. So I'm just going to have her get um, a job in culinary. And that way she doesn't have to kind of wait for it to cycle around on the computer. You watch Della Gracie, Karen. No, not as much, but um, I know who you're talking about. I remember playing this on an old busted PC back in the day. Curious how it runs on much more advanced gear. Okay, so Hercules, if you're curious about that, what you want to do is you want to press exclamation Sims 2 and open up the document that it links um, because there is stuff that you need to do to make it work on Windows 10. It doesn't just work. Um, and I have links to people that have written instructions on how to fix that. All right, so she's going to take that job. Okay, fabulous. And then she can go home. Yeah, there are certain errors and bugs if you just try to straight up just install Sims 2 on Windows 10. It does not work. You get like pink soup and a bunch of other weird errors. But that has every all the different articles that smarter people than me have written of how you get it to work. <laughs> yeah, almost. Um, so I also have this Community Lots mod so it counts down to when she comes home. Oh, there's hail. Okay. So let's just buy her a few things based on what she wants here so that we can get some more points for her and get her place kind of furnished out a little bit. Now she she basically has to save her money. So we're not going to get her anything too fancy. I think I'm going to get her this fridge though. Why fast where you learned that at me, internet. True. <laughs> internet, always internet. Okay, so she wants to buy. You don't need to buy a computer, girl. Just come out here and open this. Buy electronic entertainment. Oh, you can have that, I guess. You can have a game system. We wanna, which one do we wanna get her? Um, let's get her, let's get her a chopper. We can live outside. Sims 2 is so nostalgic. Yeah, I love it. I'm so excited to play this when we get um, going on Interstage Window with it. We're almost done with View of Pinata and then we'll do the Legacy Challenge on there. Um, but that's partly why I wanted to do this stream because I just wanted to make sure that this all worked. And it totally does. It runs just fine while streaming. I've not seen I've not seen or heard any issues. I mean, y'all tell me if I'm wrong. All right, so that basically gets her started. I think that's fine for now. She wants some stuff that I really don't want to buy her at the moment. She wants to get a skill point, which is probably good. She probably should get some cooking skill points. Um, but we'll work on that. We'll work on that later. I'm not super concerned about it for right now. I just wanted to get her started before we do the next scripted events. All right. Yes, I am. We're going to do Legacy Challenge on Sims 2 after we finish Viva Pinata. Um, I don't know. It's been a minute since we've talked about it specifically, so you probably did know at some point and just forgot. Okay, so the next house that we that we do is the Broke House. Now, this one actually takes a long time. This is where I'm wondering if, like, we're going to get a little stuck. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much, Beans. Hey, even though it was a short time, the time was was very valuable, so thank you very much. Okay, so the Broke House, there is a lot going on here. Poor Brandy is trying to raise two kids all on her own. Her husband mysteriously um, passed away. If you look behind 
their house on this lot here. They have a tiny pool and no ladder. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. So Skip broke, um, skipped out on life. <laughs> and uh, and left her with two with two kids. But she wants to teach him how to potty train and walk and talk. So we're going to try to teach him to walk first. We're going to do that one first because he should basically be close to it. Yeah, Bo broke is going fast and Brandy wants to teach him all the skills he needs to stay out of trouble. Click on Bo to teach him to walk and fulfill both Sims' wants. So it tells you that. And Dustin, I lock in this want for first kiss with Angela um, because he's going to go to school and all of his wants are going to end up re-rolling. There we go. He learned to walk. Yay. Okay, then we're going to take him to the potty to get some potty training in him. Uh-oh. Looks like Brandy is also pregnant, so there is about to be another baby broke. So many broke children. Time to go to school, Dustin. Have fun. So the challenge of this house is raising a toddler at the same time as she is pregnant with no help. <laughs> Bree, you so should. I love The Sims 2. It is seriously the best. Now, I have a lot of, like, customizations and mods and stuff like that in my game that you'll see. But, um, but yeah. Raising a toddler is, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's hard, it, both in real life and in The Sims 2. Aww. Okay, flush this and use the toilet. Is that the legacy challenge? Oh, no. Oh, hey, Ty. Um, welcome. No, the legacy challenge is getting to 10 generations um, for one family in The Sims. All right, and you need to eat some pizza. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Because I've never finished a legacy challenge. I've done it so many times, and I've just never... I've never gotten all the way to Generation 10. But if we're doing it on stream as part of Interstage Window, then you know, eventually I might actually complete it. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. <laughs> so. Why don't you turn that on? Will she turn it on while she's eating? I don't think she will. That's okay, though. We can at least get her hunger back up. I want to meet someone new. Each bow to talk. Okay. Well, let's do some teaching him to talk. That's going to take a while as well. In this house, it's not just like a few little things. Like it's it's the whole thing of raising Bo. So it take, we're going to be here for a lot longer than some of the others. So I'll try to do this until... Their needs go down. Okay, I hear you, humble. I hear you. How's her needs doing? Not too bad. Going up, it's going up. We're just gonna finish it out. And then we'll take care of their needs. Okay, sweet. Almost on that. Okay, Dustin came home from school, and when he does that, he gets lectured. The so Brandy will immediately come out and lecture him every time when he gets home. Uh, their relationship is not so good. Uh, poor Brandy puts a lot on him, and Dustin is really upset from their uh, their father passing. All right, go back to teaching Bo to talk. And while you're doing that, I'm going to have Dustin come in here. Okay, come interact with Angela. Ooh, he rolled the want to go to college. I hope he keeps that. All right, Angela, just come over and eat our pizza. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, what's going on over here? Why didn't you finish teaching him to talk? Try that again. He was almost there. 
teach Poe to talk. There we go, try again. You make the Sims on screen, did I miss that? No, these, this is Pleasant View. This is Pleasant View. So these are all the um, Sims that came with the game. I didn't make these guys. Okay, so let's go here. They hopefully Angela will follow. Yeah, she will. Okay, perfect. And then we are gonna have their first kiss. Okay, oh, the teaching to talk finished. Fabulous. We need to empty this. I love this cutscene. The first kiss cutscene is so good. <laughs> They're so happy they fly. <laughs> Brandy there in the background. Mom just watching, so weird. Oh, it was time to dance. Okay. Thanks for invading my space, Mom. Why don't you potty train your child? You guys should read some of The Sims 2 patch notes. Children no longer levitate when watching TV sports channel. Uh, yeah, Sims 2, when they actually fixed their bugs. Amazing. <laughs> Why don't you go... You have, like, no fun. Why don't you go dance with her? Dance with your girlfriend, Dustin. Okay. His energy is super low, so she can put Bo in bed. Yeah, she's trying to put you in bed. Stop crying. Let her pick you up. What other fun stuff do the patch notes have, Ty? Okay. Now, Brandy, you need to take care of your own needs. So why don't you empty this? Oh, I know what I need to do. Also. Let's see. Here. They need... Hour. I'm just gonna get them that gym shower because it takes way too long for them to take a bath and children no longer levitate when they watch a birth I guess there was a lot of children levitating in uh in sims 2 <laughs> okay you're good with that you're fun your fun's getting back up you're gonna say goodbye say goodbye to your girlfriend oh uh oh Oh, oh, we got a baby bump. We got a baby bump. Okay. All right, what wants does he have? Earn some money. Okay, we're going to lock in, go to college, because I definitely think he wants to do that. Why don't you go ahead and dance some more since your fun is pretty low? Plant baby. Oh my god. <laughs> What is that even? So crazy. And you need to get your... Why don't you watch TV? Can you get her to watch TV and eat at the same time? So her fun and hunger will both go up. Alright, and then eat that. He wants to watch a comedy movie. I think because it's the weather channel, our fun's not going to go up. That's a shame. <clears throat> Children will no longer go on vacation alone if their parents die before the van arrives. <laughs> what kind of, like, crazy situation has to happen where, like, all of that just coincides just so when the kids end up going on the vacation alone? <laughs> That's just crazy. I don't. I don't remember that. <laughs> I definitely remember the children levitating, though, and that being a bug that happened all the time. Okay. Oh, not work out. I want her to watch. Maybe she can just watch the comedy movie. Your fun is, like, super low. Okay, 
Let's get our fun up some. Bo will grow up in just one day. Okay. We need to... His fun's back up, so that's good. His brother's hungry, though. Why don't you get a bottle for your brother? Sims will no longer get a memory of making out with themselves in the hot tub under certain conditions. <laughs> yeah, the memory system, um, I remember it was really jacked when it first came out. It took a while for them to, like, fix that. You can answer the phone, it's fine. Okay, go drink your, go drink your milk. Oh, no. That's her friend, but... Girl, I can't. I'm, like, pregnant, and I got kids. I know you're, like, living the high life, married to Mortimer and stuff, and no issues, but, uh, but here we got issues. Okay, why don't you grab a slice? I know you're super tired, but... They're also very hungry. <clears throat> Everybody eating dinner. There's a fly in here. I just tried to go go to my nose. <laughs> and you want to sneak out with me tonight. Oh, girl, you know I do. You know I do. Okay, why don't you put your brother in the crib? And I guess you can go to sleep too. Even though Dustin's kind of messed up in regards to, like, his grades and sneaking out and stuff, he's a pretty good brother. Alright, why don't you go shower? You're gonna... you're gonna have some fun tonight. And then let's get you some sleep. Oh my word. Answer that phone. So it stops ringing. No, she is not. And put Bo back in the crib. Good lord. Bag of flaming poo should not be delivered indefinitely after a bad date. <laughs> oh yeah, they do deliveries after bad dates. Um, and good dates too. You get roses after the good dates, but it's funny. Okay. Go to sleep some. I'm going to have her wake up and clean up and then go back to sleep because I want to make sure that he does not get caught. I forget what sim it was, but for some reason there was a glitch on the phone where you could sometimes delete the home phone while it was still ringing and the sims would go crazy trying to answer it, but it didn't exist. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> that probably was Sims 2, but I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, so now she should sleep through him sneaking out. Alpha Teeth, welcome! How's it going? Okay, your fun is low. Why don't you go play on your play on your thing? Okay, so she should be showing up soon. For sneaking out. There we go. Wake up. And she comes in this like ridiculous car. Don't know where she gets it from, but <laughs> she comes over in this crazy amazing car. All right, go have fun with the girl. His little sneak. His little sneak. <laughs> and he made it. All right, so why don't you 
get up and potty train Bo. But we missed that opportunity and he soils himself. And you just have to wash him. He's gonna miss it. I think I was too late. Come on, don't do it. Don't potty, Bo. Let's do it in the potty. Keep you in the potty, Bo, not in your pants. There we go. Got him on there. Hopefully he'll get lots of skill for that. Aw, she doesn't want to talk to Dustin. She wants to improve her relationship with her son. I feel like the last part of the potty training creeps up so slow. All right. Why don't you get a bottle for him? He's not that hungry, but that's okay. Neat Sims will no longer be furious when told to clean up a water balloon puddle the Neat Sim created after the water balloon prank. <laughs> uh, the attempt at silencing mommy bloggers. Oh. <laughs> Pregnant Sims can now browse their blog about hobbies on the computer. Yeah. There was definitely bugs with them. Um, Certain things that wouldn't work right for pregnant sims. Okay, so they ate the pizza. So she needs to use a potty. But then she can... There's some toaster pastries. Alright. Yeah, so that's her hobby. Cuisine is her hobby. I change their hobbies from what they are in the default a lot of times. I can't remember what her default one is, but um, I give her cuisine. All right, eat your food. And then because he snuck out, the cops find him every time the cops find him. So he comes home puffed. But it's so funny. It doesn't matter if Brandy is like awake or asleep or anything. Like she doesn't react to this, which I don't really understand. <laughs> but she doesn't. <laughs> but she has the want to talk. I caught Dustin not making mischief. Whatever happened to responsible parenting? You know what, Demi? I'm trying. Okay, Brandy is doing her best. But she doesn't want to talk to him. So let's go chat. See what his wants are. It's still college and money. Oh, no job. Yeah, as she doesn't have a job because she's busy raising kids. Don't make fun of her for that. Okay. She doesn't want to play. Do you wanna do you wanna toss the football a little, Dustin? She's probably gonna say no. He's probably gonna say no. Oh, he said yes. Oh good, good, good. She wants to get a job in the slacker career. That's funny. Okay. Shadow! Uh, no. No 100 baby challenge. This is just, this is just a, a normal amount of lots of kids. <laughs> I definitely am not into that 100 baby challenge thing. Yeah, I am. We're going to do a legacy challenge, though. Inner Stage Window is going to be legacy challenge next. All right. He's pretty sleepy. So why don't you put him in the crib? What are you crying about over there? Oh, crying about getting arrested. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Why don't you eat some toaster pastries? You probably need to eat some toaster pastries. So the cop um, bringing Dustin home was the last kind of like scripted event, but I like to keep going um, just a little bit longer and let um, Dustin age up with the potty training. So we're gonna move this over to this counter. 
We're gonna go ahead and buy a birthday cake for him. I like this one. I'm gonna try to finish potty training him before we age him up. We have one day. He only had a little bit left in his potty train. Okay. Why don't you empty this? The Sims where windows and toilet paper cost the same amount. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a lot of the money doesn't make sense in in the Sims. Not that it makes sense a lot of sense in real life, to be fair. Why don't you come on, try again. I know Dustin was in there pottying, so you're trying to wait for him. Alright. No, don't take a bath. That'll take forever and you gotta go to school. To shower. Okay, how are her needs? Oh, fun is bath. Okay. Yeah, you can go dance. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Poor thing, she's not a best not the best dancer. <laughs> I mean you wouldn't be either with uh with that pregnant belly. <laughs> Okay. Now he can go to school. Well, let's get her fun up a little bit more. Oh, he's out. Okay. He's awake. Potty train him. Maybe this will be the last bit. Come on, come on. Oh, not quite. Dang it. Alright, empty this and then take a shower because you stank, girl. He's so close. Don't you drink that. He's about to drink it. Don't you drink that rotten bottle. Jeez, Bo. Alright. Come on, dispose of it. Okay, I guess you can sleep a little bit. Oh, I let the food rot without putting it up. Sorry, we were busy. Trying to potty train our son. Oh, his hygiene's really low. I usually end up end up having his hygiene get really low. <sighs> okay, get her energy up a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good for right now. Guess she can give him a bath. And maybe he won't grow up with stink lines on him. Which has definitely happened when I've played this house before. I really want to get him potty trained before. Doing slightly better at school but still has horrible grades. Oh, and he brought a friend home. Who did he bring? Bill Platts. Okay. Randy, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be giving Bo a bath so he doesn't stink. The Sims thing. Gotta teach them if they don't behave, they get murdered. <laughs> Katie, you're so violent with your Sims. <laughs> I mean, I definitely do a lot of that too, but I like, I really enjoy like the gameplay of like their lives and fulfilling the wants and things. I really think like the want system is part of what makes me love The Sims 2 so much compared to the other games. They just don't really have anything like that. Let's see. Oh, he wants to buy a handheld game, earn $100, go to private school. Does he have work today? He has work today, so maybe he'll earn that money. How much does he make? Oh, he only makes $50. 
I don't know how you're gonna earn a hundred dollars. Good luck, Dustin. Oh, he's playing water balloons with his friend. That's fine. All right. After you do that, why don't we potty train again? Hopefully that will get it, and then we can do his birthday. Renato, Renato. Yes, we only have one bathroom, Phil. Sorry. Renato, Renato. Hurry up. Oh, don't you start dancing. He went to work. Your friend went to work. Get out. Get out of my house. Oh, he wants to be red, too. No, we have to finish your potty training, and then we can have your birthday party. Okay. You should have taken the hint when Dustin went off to work. That's so weird. But I guess I didn't have Dustin say goodbye. Come on, this should do it. Right? This has got to do it. Yes! Okay. Now Brandy needs to... Clean. Clean the house so we can have this birthday. I know you're sleepy. <laughs> there is always one kid that has potty troubles. And in this household, it is Bo. But hey, Bo is Bo is set up right. He's platinum aspiration, so he's gonna be he's gonna be set up good for life. He doesn't really remember their dad that well, so it's all gonna be okay for him. Okay, and then we're going to age him up. Bring Bo to cake. Oh, new baby bump time. You're going to pop any day. Okay, I know you're tired, Bo. But you're going to be able to sleep easier as soon as you age up, because then you won't have to use a crib. Here we go. Happy birthday! Good job! Bo has grown into a child. As a toddler, Bo achieved aspiration level of miracle might. This is fantastic. Life for Bo just couldn't get any better. Okay, so she's about to have her baby, um, but I am going to go ahead and stop playing this household here. What? What do you want? Oh. <laughs> I let him get too tired. I let him get too tired. He fell asleep on the floor. I usually have him sleep, just, they both sleep in this bed for a while. Oh, Dustin got a promotion. Wonderful. Um, Dustin has been promoted to number runner level two. Now you're with the local family, and they've trusted you with the day-to-day -day activities of a small part of the business. You toil in the seedy underbelly of SimCity racetrack, crunching numbers and helping set odds for the day's races. It's not glamorous, but it pays the bills. Nice. All right. All right, Dustin. Oh, don't do that. Why don't you pick up the can, clean this up, and you need to call the exterminator. Because you're going to get sick if you spend time stomping on roaches. Hey, lady. What's up, Regina Pons? All right. I guess I can't wake him up off the floor because it was crisis. Oops. That's okay. Dustin's doing good. 
So we're happy. Yes, that's fine. That's all fine. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it, Dustin says. Because <laughs> he's the one making the money in this house, not Mom. Alright. Wait, wait, why are you crying? Things are going well. Are you still crying about the arrest? No. Are you crying about roaches? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the neighborhood. We only have 10 minutes left of stream time. We're going to play as much of the next house as we can. The dreamer house is next. We're not going to finish it, though. We're not going to finish it. But y'all tell me, what have you thought of this? Would you be interested in me playing more of this Pleasant View, like, rotational Sims 2? You know, where I'm not really making the Sims. I'm just kind of playing the what Maxis has set out and then kind of building from there on what they have. And this isn't the only neighborhood that has these scripted events, right? There's Strange Town and Veronaville too. Pleasant View is just my favorite one, but I really like Strange Town as well. And Veronaville is fun, but it's pretty small. There's not a lot of people there, and so it can get um, it can get uh, a little uh, incestuous a little quickly. <laughs> so Strange Town and Pleasant View, I I think, is a little bit more um, more easy to get further generations. Okay, so what Darren wants to do is he wants to... Actually, we're going to lock in that, too. He wants to He wants to switch careers. He wants to be a painter. So we're going to take him up and paint. You like it? Awesome. And then what I usually have um, Dirk do is just call his girlfriend and hang out with her. I think... Oh, no, wait. I think the school bus is about to come for him. So actually, he can do that later. Oh, he wants to find a job. That's interesting. Probably because he's a fortune sim. Yeah, I think the school bus is about to show up. So actually, he doesn't need to call. He doesn't need to call Lilith. It's fine. I don't want to speed it up yet because I want to make sure he gets on the school bus. But I do want to speed up this painting. There we go. Okay. And basically... Darren just paints. And what this is teaching you is about like selling paintings and stuff that you make. You can also write books and sell books in this. Um, but paintings is the one they choose to teach you. Thanks, Mr. Humble. Yeah, and I always switch his hobby over to arts and crafts too. Because like in my mind, like his his hobby, like he wants to turn his hobby into a career. Like that's the that's the plot in my mind. So I get him that hobby. I can't remember what what Maxis gives him for the hobby. He's home. Okay. He wants to get a job and he wants to make out with Lilith. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do the fine job and then we're going to give her a call, invite her over. I think I want to get him science, if they have it. Athletic? No. I feel like he's like a smart kid. Law? No. I want to do science, if they have it. If not, then we won't worry about getting him a job. No, not adventurer. No, not oceanography. Okay, so after you finish the painting, it says, Still haven't found your artistic voice. Try painting a still life or a portrait of the family member who had a personal touch to your artwork. So I always have him do the still life, because you can just make that a screenshot of anything. Um, and I don't want the other sim to be trapped sitting there for the portrait. Intelligence? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. He can get a job later if he rolls that want again. He probably will since he's a fortune sim. So we're going to call... Lilith and invite her over and get Darren started on his painting and that's probably where we're going to have to stop. All right, invite your girlfriend over. Let's go. Yeah. See you guys. 
All right, sweet. She coming over. All right. So still life, like it's literally a screenshot of anything. It doesn't matter. And he's gonna sell it anyway, so I don't care. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. No, don't capture that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and save here. All right, I'm so glad this worked. So doing the legacy challenge will definitely work out for switching interstage window over to that after we finish Viva Pinata. So I'm really glad, really, really glad this worked. All right, let's go ahead and quit. Yes, I am. All right. Waiting for the game to stop so we don't have the... Okay, there we go. All right, since we did the Pokemon at the beginning, of course, we're not doing that for our outro. So um, we're just going to say, we're just going to say goodbye and end the stream. So you guys know where to find me. Here's all my socials. Um, you know, you can support me all of the usual ways. I've got Patreon. Um, thank you so, so much for the tons of subscribers this time. The goal count says nine, but I feel like it was more than that. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it was ten. So thank you so much for the 10 subs. Thank you so much, um, Rival, for the raid. Uh, this was a really, really good stream. I'm, I'm really glad. I'm always a little bit nervous when I do like a different kind of one-off stream if people are going to be interested in seeing it. But clearly people are interested in The Sims. So I'm excited to do some more Sims in the future. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming to the stream. And uh, let's see. Next week on Artistic License, we are going to get back into Final Fantasy X. We're going to be in the Calm Lands which is a nice kind of area uh, where we're going to um, do some leveling up and things like that and uh, some really interesting stuff to the plot we're going to find out there. Um, and then next episode of Interstage Window is with um, is with Bree, who if you're still here, hey Bree, <laughs> is with Bree and um, we're going to be talking about how to keep your role plays fresh and exciting. So that's going to be a good uh, episode of Interstage Window on Saturday. That's at noon. And uh, Artistic License is, of course, at 6.30. Okay, let's find someone to raid. Um, okay, oh, here we go. Sask is playing Super Mario Odyssey, so let's definitely, let's definitely raid him. His name's kind of hard to spell. Let me, I'm just double checking, make sure I spelled that right. <laughs> All right. Yes, that's him. Okay, y'all have fun watching some Super Mario Odyssey. Um, and don't forget to make it a great day. Thank you guys. See y'all later.